hello guys what's up and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to show you how to create this makeup look now this makeup is super cool super fresh summer friendly lightweight makeup look if you want to know how i created this look then do continue watching this video and before getting into the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to follow me in my instagram so yes without further anding let's quickly jump into the video Now I'm going to start off with the face prepping part. So first I'm directly going to go in with a moisturizer and today for moisturizer I'm going to use my absolute favorite. Now this one is the Dot & Key Watermelon Super Glow Matte Moisturizer. Now this one is my favorite summer moisturizer. It will give you this nice soothing cooling effect. It hydrates your skin but it's not going to give you this super glossy look. It's a mattifying moisturizer so it is going to keep your uh, face hydrated but then it gives you this mattified effect so yeah we are done with the moisturization now my skin is really moisturized so i'm just going to give a minute or two for the moisturizer to get settled onto my skin before i proceed with the next step next i'm going to use a sunscreen so today for sunscreen we are going to use this one now this one is the dot and key vitamin c plus e super bright sunscreen it is water like in texture it has spf 50 pa triple plus and it also gives this uva plus uvb blue light production i've already talked a lot about this dot and key water light sunscreen i already have a different variant which i've shown you in my previous video so i have this watermelon variant and this one is the vitamin c variant now this thing is in a runny consistency it's super duper light so it's not going to make you feel heavy and it's not going to give you a lot of white cars you can see that now okay so now we are done with the sunscreen next we are going to see an interesting product brown tinted moisturizer now this product comes in this really nice amazing packaging let's quickly apply this one they have asked us to apply it using fingers So I applied it fingers but then I would like to apply it with a brush and then check how it works. By the way I am applying second layer. Now this is how the product looks like. Adds a really nice healthy glow to your skin. If you have exactly my skin tone and you're looking for a really good tinted moisturizer, you can definitely try this one. Now one thing is that since it's a tinted moisturizer, it is going to give you this nice dewy, glossy skin-like finish. If you're okay with this, then super good. You can definitely go ahead and pick it. But if you're not okay with this glossy effect since it is a summer season, then I have a hack for you. All you have to do is apply a compact powder. Like set it with a compact powder of your choice and you're good to go. Okay. Now I'm going to take this K-Beauty loose powder. So I'm going to apply it and show it to you guys. Yeah, see that? see here the glossiness without any compact powder and here it's all good it's mattified okay so the choice is yours if you want this glossy effect just leave it as such or if you want the mattified effect just top it up with a really nice compact or loose powder so yes that's it we are done with the tinted moisturizer there's no need to apply any foundation we are all good with this tinted moisturizer next i'm going to use a blush for which i'm going to use this one now this one is a faces canada color me up blush in shade berry pink now this is how the shade looks like it's been a long time i've used pink blushes so i just wanted to try a pink blush so i bought this one now let me apply it on my skin and check how it works because right i usually prefer this coralish kind of blushes since it goes really well for my skin tone so yeah let me apply and then check how it performs okay
Nice, good. Okay, now this is how the blush looks like. Since it is a cream blush, I'm going to top it with the same loose powder just to make it stay longer. So this is how I apply any cream blushes if they are not in a moussey matte texture. Like if they have this glossy creamy texture then I would apply the blush and then top it up with a compact powder or a loose powder. When it comes to eye makeup the first thing that I prefer doing is eyebrows. So first for my eyebrows I'm going to use this one. I've already used this eyebrow pencil in a couple of my videos. Now this one is the Swiss Beauty micro precision eyebrow pencil in shade gray black and the shade number is four so do you see that it helps in getting this really nice thin strokes so that your you know eyebrows will look really natural it's not waxy it's very easy to work with so if you're a beginner definitely definitely check this one it it looks like a really nice high-end eyebrow pencil but it's really really affordable so yeah I would highly recommend everyone to try this before you get your hands on any of the eyebrow products that are available in the market see we are quickly done with one side of my eyebrows and then I'm going to use a spoolie on the back of this eyebrow pencil gives this really nice precise strokes on your eyebrows so next step is eye makeup for which I'm going to use this eyeshadow palette now this one is the revolution ultimate nudes eyeshadow palette in variant medium so this is how the color theme of this eyeshadow palette looks like so first I'm going to start with this shade I'm going to take this brown shade and then I'm going to intensify the out corner. I'm going to take this shade and then apply it on the lower eyelid area. Once it has been done, I'm going to use this Mars eyeshadow. Now this eyeshadow has this duochrome effect. So I'm going to take it slightly on my fingertip and then I'm going to apply it on my eyelids. So yes, our eyeshadow is all good. Next I'm going to tightline my upper and lower waterline using the chamber spectacularly kajal. So that's it we're done with eyeshadow and I have tight lined my upper and lower waterline using the chamber spectacularly kajal. Next is mascara. So for mascara I'm going to use this one. Now this one is the Maybelline Sky High Lash Sensational Mascara. This product you guys it has got this beautiful wand and it's quite flexible. So yes we are going to apply our mascara and I have really high expectations for this one because it's such a super raved product. Wow, good. yes, it's really good. Wow, it's super good. So that's it, we're done with mascara. Next, I'm going to apply a lipstick. And I'm going to line my lips using a brown lip liner, for which I'll be using this Kiko Milano uh, Smart Fusion Lip Liner in shade Chocolate. Next, I'm going to use this Pack Retro Matte Mini Liquid Lipstick in Variant Taunty. And from the same lipstick range, I'm going to use another shade called Nutty Doodle in the middle of my lips to get that pouty effect.
so that's it this is how the final makeup look turned out i absolutely absolutely love the finish of these makeup especially the mars duochrome eyeshadow so now the shade that i have used is the shade called finland flash and the shade number is 03 this is how i prefer wearing my summer makeup keeping it super simple super cool you know all this fresh colors put on together and you know very lightweight as well all the products product names and purchase links are mentioned below in the description box so if you want to know any of the product details please go ahead and check it in the description box so hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video if you really like it please give a big thumbs up if you love watching my videos subscribe to my channel and if you have any product suggestion that you want me to review in this channel please do mention the product names and details in the comment section so yes next time with another amazing content i'll meet you guys and let's bye from priya bye bye